friends this is Arun and welcome in my channel forums creation uh, today I'm going to start a new series for uh, our tutorial 3d effects in which we will learn about uh, the current view and uh, from beginner to advanced 3d text effects so I will give you around uh, 10 to 11 tutorials on 3d effects in which uh, from beginner to advanced we will get so let's see how to work with the 3D options in Photoshop CC. So firstly open the new file, click on file and uh, click on new then I will take a new document with 1000 height 650 re resolution 72 and click on OK. Now control 0 to fit on screen. Uh, suppose I have this essential tools. OK. Now I will take a new text here like a C you can change the color of this text to any now click on OK now I want to convert it to Photoshop uh, 3d effect now right click on here or you will get the 3d expression from selected layer or otherwise you can go to this 3d then uh, new 3d extrusion from selected layer you can click from here also so right click on there and uh, click on 3d extrusion from selected layer so whenever you click there then you will get the this 3d panel so this is my 3d view this is layer and this is channel again click on there now you will get see here a cube it means uh, this layer has been converted into a 3d layer now click on 3d layer mm, you will get so many uh, options here now we will uh, teach about uh, we will learn about only the current view how to set the current view of your text uh, for this you have to uh, click on there then you will get a orange line sorry yellow line around the around your border it means you have choose the current view if you click on their uh, environment then there is no yellow line around this click on current view current view means you have to set the view for your text in which we uh, we will not put any effect and uh, we will not put any extra things to it uh, we will just set the current view of the text so click on there then you will get five options here so this is the rotate the 3d object you can firstly click on there then drag the mouse to the any direction then you will get to change the view of the 3d text as you can see here there is the extrusion material and all that uh, we will learn more about the extrusion material later firstly we will talk about the views only so you can set the views like uh, if you like this angle then leave leave it there and uh, if you want to zoom it then you have this tool zoom tool means scale tool click on there drag the mouse up and down then you will have the option zoom in and zoom out then even you can rotate this text like this you have this rotate tool control Z now you can change the position it is not actually changing the position of the text text is fixed at this place you can change the position of the view only uh, this is a tool in which you can zoom zoom out as well as position suppose this is my position I want uh, in this panel you will get uh, a view option a view from left a view from top a view from bottom a view from front uh, you have two types of uh, views one is perspective then is one is orthographic so I will click on there I will 
zoom it zoom in this is my perspective view and this is orthographic view this is orthographic this is perspective uh, we always work on the uh, perspective but it is the individual taste to make uh, if anybody want perspective or uh, orthography view so which is it is actually uh, we can see here it is uh, a 3d effect looking like this is very big scene like uh, if you can say the this image has been taken with a very wide angle camera or uh, this type of uh, camera has been used so i prefer always perspective view instead of orthographic it gives us a uh, very uh, realistic 3d view perspective even you can set the depth of field here distance there are so many options we don't bother about it uh, these are the main options from where you can set the angle suppose uh, this is my angle now suppose this is my final work about the 3d then i will render it go to 3d option uh, click on render but before going to render i will uh, tell you uh, go to edit then preference then 3d options you will have the high quality threshold means it is about the rendering value more the rendering value then you will go to the best quality of the 3d scene uh, suppose i have put it to uh, i always prefer to uh, when I, whenever i uh, i use uh, 3d options uh, i always check my um, project before going to final render uh, if you have to then uh, it means you are using less ram less memory then it it will give you a very fast preview go to 3d then uh, click on render now see the progress here now it has been rendered almost 3 4 second it has taken the rendering has been done now control z i will go to edit then uh, preference now 3d uh if i want to uh my output as a final render then i will set it to 5 click on there make sure you have choose this layer and uh, 3d then render now it will take more time to render so this is the result after rendering the image uh, now the image has been rendered it has taken about 7 minutes to render uh, i am in the layer panel so uh, this is the final out output i have got now right click on there even you can rasterize 3d so this is the final is the final view but in case uh, if i want to change the view then you can change at any time suppose this is the layer then go to 3d option then select current view then click this even i can change it now suppose this is the angle i want now go to 3d option then render it again so this is again the result of a uh, 3d effect after rendering it it has again taken about 5 to 7 minutes now right click on here rasterize 3d option you can rasterize it and you can save it as web uh, web page or uh, jpg file so thank you friends keep watching on this session and uh, you will get more tutorials like this